In this episode of Good, Better, Best, we'll be going over three of our top selling component speakers in three different price categories. So stay with us so you can see what you gain if you spend more money and what you don't if you spend less. Hey, I'm Josh from Breakers Stereo, and we think that this is an important subject because your front stage is one of your most important components to a great sounding stereo system. And there are literally hundreds, if not thousands of different speakers you can choose from and a wide price range. But we'll just narrow it down to our best selling speakers in these three price categories, under $200, under $400 and under $800. Now I can't express how crucial it is to have a great set of components for your front stage. If you're gonna spend some money, then this is one place you're gonna wanna put it. Now a component speaker set consists of a tweeter, a mid-range, and a crossover. And most vehicles nowadays have a separate tweeter either in the door, the A-pillar, or the dash. But even if you don't, most component sets will give you a few mounting options to create a spot for the tweeter. Now your mid driver will more than likely get installed in your door and make sure to use sound deadening in that door to get the most out of those speakers. Okay, time for a breakers breakdown. Subject, sound deadening. Most of you guys already know what this is, but let's go over it for those who are not so familiar. So speakers always sound better and give off better bass response when they're in a cabinet or an enclosure. Normally, that enclosure is tuned and the material is made of either wood or is mold injected, but either way, it's solid and dense or dead. Now, in your car, they're going in the worst possible place you can put a speaker. In fact, it's the opposite of a box. It's made of metal, it's not dense, and it has openings all over it. So how can you expect to get good bass out of them? Granted, manufacturers design around the fact that you're going to be installing it in this undesirable environment, but there's only so much they can do because they are fighting physics. So what you can do is deaden the door. Now, if you're not familiar with sound deadening, it's this tar-like material with adhesive on the back of it, and it sticks to the car's metal. Some have aluminum coating over the top, so when it gets hot, it doesn't melt, and it also reduces the smell as well. When this stuff first came out, it didn't have the coating over the top, and if you did enough in your car, it would smell like tar for weeks. But what this does is deaden the metal so it doesn't rattle and waste energy. And then you're able to hear the speaker and not the metal around it. There are a lot of companies out there making sound deadening material, so take your pick, just make sure you're using it to get the most out of those speakers. Okay, back to the original subject. And finally, a passive crossover. Now this crosses over the tweeter at a set frequency along with a separate crossover point for each mid. Each speaker will pick their own crossover points depending on the manufacturer. So here are the speakers we'll be taking a look at. At the under $200 range, the Memphis PRX60C. At under $400, Alpine's R-S65C.2. And finally, under $800, a new and up and coming brand, the Blam Signature S165. 80 plus. I know it's a funny name and I know you may not heard of them yet. And if you're asking, why didn't we pick the Hertz, Audison, Morel, Audio Frog, or Focal at this price point? We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna go over all the specs for each speaker along with the features. And then we'll hit the demo room and fire these things up. We'll be using a professional stereo mic with a frequency range between 20 Hertz all the way up to 20,000 Hertz. That's capable of 135 SPL. So if you really want to experience how they perform, use a good set of headphones that have a good range to tell the difference between them. Okay, let's get moving. Starting off with Memphis's PRX 60C. These have a polypropylene woofer with a polyurethane surround and a separate polypropylene dome tweeter. Two-way external crossover. These handle up to 50 watts RMS, 100 watts peak power. Now the frequency response on these speakers is 72 Hertz all the way up to 20,000 Hertz. And the sensitivity is 88 dB at one watt, one meter. These speakers are very clean, nice and bright. Min range is good and is a great match for any amp at the 50 watts RMS level. A really good value, retail price $169. Next, Alpine's R-S65.2. 
Okay, carbon fiber reinforced woofer and carbon fiber reinforced dome tweeter. These come with a separate crossover for the tweeter only, and there's a crossover cap mounted to the back of the speaker acting as the mid crossover. Handles up to 100 watts RMS, 300 watts peak power. Now the frequency response on this is 65 all the way up to 40,000 Hertz. Sensitivity is 88 dB at one watt, one meter and high res audio. Okay, so these speakers can produce sounds well above the frequencies a human can hear, which is about 20,000 Hertz. And these speakers can reproduce frequencies up to 40,000 Hertz. Now the theory is if the speaker is able to play at those higher frequencies, then it can definitely reproduce the lower frequencies that are in the audible range to humans at a much better rate. Next, the Blam Signature S165.80 Plus. Now this brand is fairly new and is founded by Guy Bonneville. The official name of the company is Bonneville Laboratories and More, aka Blam. Now this company is based in France and like other European companies that focus on the high-end loudspeaker category, such as Hertz Audison in Italy and Focal that's also in France, their company stresses superior sound reproduction. Now, Blam implements the concept of French sound, which combines an audiophile's perspective with technology and sensation to each and every speaker they produce. Their founder and CEO, Guy, worked at Focal Car Audio for over 20 years, and he is a veteran within our industry and has a great track record. Now, Guy is one of the most passionate CEOs in the 12 volt industry and goes above and beyond to deliver products that exceed expectations. Yes, I know we sound biased towards this company because these speakers are so awesome and a lot of our salespeople and installers have Blam in their own vehicle. So that speaks volumes. This set comes with their high sensitivity woofer and their high res tweeter. These speakers handle 60 watts RMS and 120 watts peak. The frequency response on the mid driver is 60 Hertz up to 7,000 Hertz, and it's a two ohm speaker. This comes with a separate crossover for the mid and a separate crossover for the tweeter, which makes it easier if your factory tweeter is located in the dash. These have a die cast aluminum basket, ultra rigid carbon fiber cone, and an IRR surround and your terminals are gold plated. On the tweeter, this is a three quarter inch textile dome. The max power is 100 watts and the impedance is five ohms. And the frequency response is 2.5K up to 40,000 Hertz and has a high efficiency neodymium magnet. Okay, finally, let's go to the demo room and check these out. Okay, so we're using the JVC KW-V750BT for the head unit. The EQ will be set to flat and I will set the crossover to 70 for the Memphis and 60 for both the Alpines and the Blams. We're using the Helix M4, which is 100 watts times four into four or two ohms. And we'll place the microphone approximately one meter away. Okay, we're gonna be listening to two songs and we'll toggle the speakers back and forth so you can hear them back to back to back. Okay, let's work. Astro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah. Astro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah. Astro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, out like a light, hey, yeah. like a light, hey, yeah. like a light, hey, slept through the flight, hey, not for the night, hey, 767, man, this shit got double bedroom, man, I still got scores to settle, man, I crept down the block, down the block. made a right, yeah, cut the lights, yeah, pay the price, yeah, niggas think it's sweet, no, no. it's on sight, yeah, nothing nice, yeah, Vegas in my eyes, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. Checks over stripes, yeah. That's what I like, yeah. That's what we like, yeah. Lost my respect, yeah. You're not a threat. When I shoot my shot, that shit wetty like on Shaq. See the shots that I took, ay. wet like on Book, ay. wet like on Lizzie. I be spinning valley circle blocks till I'm busy. Yeah. Like, where is he? Yeah. No one seen him. Yeah. I'm trying to clean him, yeah. 
she's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a Zan, 13 hours till I land. Had me out like a light, 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 like a light. Yeah, past the dogs and sell, he's sending texts, ain't sending kites. Yeah, he say keep that on lock. I say, you know this shit is tight. Yeah, it's absolute. Yeah, I'm back with boo. It's lit. Like for right. The Jamba Juice. Yeah, we back on the road. They jumping off no parachute. Yeah, shorty in the back. She say she working on the blues. Yeah, ain't by the book. Yeah, it's how it look. Yeah, by the check. Yeah, just check the foots. Yeah, pass this to my daughter. I'ma show her what it took. Baby mama, cover Forbes. Got these other bitches shook. Yeah. Whether you go with the Memphis, the Alpine, or the Blam, we believe you'll be satisfied with any of these. The Memphis is a great value for the price. The Alpines are sharp and accurate, and the Blams have excellent bass response with a nice, smooth tweeter. Now, all these can be purchased on our website. Just click the link in the description below, and that'll take you directly to the product pages. Remember, we do offer financing. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send these speakers out to you ASAP. Now, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breakers Stereo. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video.